Hello everybody, welcome back to Bio on the Road. Once again, you can see me start from a parking lot. Although this one is just a parking lot for employees, so I shouldn't probably have been here. It was close to the store. But I don't care. I don't care! Uh, anyway, once again, creeping through the well, I wouldn't say back alleys, but not the main roads to avoid traffic as much as I can. That's the fun bit, right? He's going through some more speed bumps. By the way, why did no one tell me that my window was dirty on the last episode? Oh yeah, you can't. I'm recording this one on the same day as you can see from the timestamp. Anyway, there we go. It's time to go meet Gargantuar. What is Gargantuar? Gargantuar is a big ass speed bump. As you can see straight ahead of you. If you pay close attention to it. You'll notice a plentiful of cars have already left a bit of their car on said speed bump. Usually just a little bit of paint, but for the more adventurous car more adventurous cars. For those who are lowered, the occasional bit of uh, plastic, sometimes a little bit more than a bit even. Anyway, that was Gargantuar. It's a good thing my car has decent suspension. Would have been worse if it didn't. Yeah, well. Anyway, what to talk about this time? Well. First episode, the weather was nice. Now, not so much anymore. It's still sunny, it's still hot, but it's cloudy as well, as you can see. Uh, anyway. Kind of ended up a little briefly on the last episode with uh, the top 10 things you ate on the road. Things I still remember from that list were. Well, first of all, you had three car brands. That was just hilarious if an entire brand of a car can make it on. The and there's one! Rah! Tiny little car with no driver license. You just saw one. It's tiny. So you had their Mercedes and Audi. I don't, I don't know. And I'm saying that when an Audi is just one meter away from my bumper now. Not making a brilliant case for yourself, guys. Anyway, um, there was not using an indicator. But then again, I never trust the indicator anyway. So it's a bit of a paradox there. I hate it when they don't use them. But if they do use them, I don't trust them. So, you know. Alright, there's a plane that someone decided to put on their roof. Uh, cool story behind that. If you got time, we'll go back to that. What else is there? Um, people that drive way too close behind you. Apparently vans as well. Man. They have the right to be annoying on the road. They're big and already dented, so why would they care? Anyway. Um, I'm guessing I'm done with matching lists. So you've seen the plane, probably, hopefully, maybe. Um, that used to be on a parking lot, but the person who owns it, this dismantled plane, doesn't sit right with um, the mayor of this beautiful, beautiful town. <clears throat> so, um, it's vice versa, I, both of them can't stand one another, and uh, if one can pick on the other one, they won't hesitate. But anyway, yeah, uh... And there was, the plane was sitting on the parking lot, the mayor complained, that, okay, I'll move it, and then he just put it on the roof of his hangar. Yeah, that's where it sits proudly now, as a big thorn in the eye of the mayor. Uh, I'm not picking sides on this one, because he is a bit of a, both aren't that kosher, I would say. Anyway. <sighs> 
starting to cool down a bit, probably because the sun is now shrouded. I don't mind. I don't like the heat. Uh, so this is a brilliant T section, I would say, with lights off. If the one in front doesn't dry far enough, the lights never turn green. Because it's using. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it properly, but take a close look at the uh, at the ground. You'll see a square. You should be able to see a square. I'll drive, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. You can't really see it properly, but it's there. So as long as the car doesn't stop on that. The traffic class think, up. Oh, there's no traffic here. No need to turn the light green. They crane whenever they're trying to pull here. More repairs required on roofs. Yep. Uh, Looks like they're doing the same thing right there. A lot of construction going on here, man. Uh, there's a church, in case you never saw one before. Oh, these ones are actually doing something. Surprise! We're working! Uh, yep, 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 yep. So they recently changed this road from being able to drive 50 to 70. And uh, obviously cops are now here with a mobile camera every freaking time. Thanks lads! 52. That's because of you, man, the little blue car. That is definitely because of you. driving stuff, huh? Anyway. Um, we're about to go to a place where people don't know how to... More of those little things! Ah, on the left, I don't know if you saw them. Maybe point an arrow to them or something, I don't know. And they're now heading off to a place where people don't know how to park. Hope you can at least see one or two douches. Why do I say they don't know how to park? Well, they all have a driveway, but they still park in the middle of the street. Why? Good question. Um, I've seen people here actually block streets. I mean, there's like a van on one side of the road doing some work in one of the nearby houses, and then the owner of the home from across where the van is parked gets home and just parks straight next to the van. Tire road blocks. There you go. Eh, well. I mean, it's almost 12 now. I don't think we're going to see too many cars, but at least I'm hoping for a few idiots. It's always a great spot for that. There's one in particular. It's coming around from here-ish. Uh, yep, there he is. The one with the white thing. That's in the middle of a semi-blind bend. That is not a place to park your car! Douche. Look at that. Oh, nice. Ah, I know what's up. Garbage truck is passing, so they're forced to go on their driveway. Usually all these cars here would be in the middle of the street. But, uh, once garbage needs to be collected, they are forced to park on their own driveway or they will get fined. Which is fine with me. Anyway, uh... I think I'm gonna end it here. So thank you guys for watching. Hoping you're still enjoying this me driving on the road thing. Feel free to use the comment section below to um, you know talk about stuff, things I've discussed here, things I haven't discussed here, whatever it is you see fit. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Then bye everyone.